Hello and welcome to Bothagor IS Academy. My name is Dibaranjan Bora and today I am going to discuss the polity questions of the prelims 2023. Okay, so let's begin. So let us see the first question. Okay, so bottom question to kiya is which of the following is a necessary condition for the issue of the writ of co one and two? Okay, so I'm going to option ki dise. Option number eight dise to secure the release of a person who has been imprisoned by a court of law on criminal charges. Okay, option number B dise to direct a public officer or the government not to enforce a law which is unconstitutional. Okay, then option number C ki dise both A and B. Okay, then option number D dise the office must be public. And it must be created by a statute or by the constitution itself. Okay, so yeah, the statute bill called means what? It is basically temporary law. Okay, temporary law are basically known as what statutes. Okay, so it yeah, we need to know to answer this question properly. We need to know what is the meaning of co-warrant. Okay, so yeah, look, that means we additional information to know from which is very important from the means perspective also. Okay, so the key how under Article 32 of the Indian Constitution. The Supreme Court of India, for enforcement of our fundamental rights, they can issue five types of writs. Okay, five types of writs. Then okay, issue kuriyo pare. And according to Article 226, High Court can also issue this similar five types of writs. Okay, so now amongst these five types of writs, one of the most important one is this co warranto. Okay, the co warranto ki hai. Generally, this issue of co warranto it is issued to check the claim of a person to an office. Okay, so generally, co warranto kitia use hai to check the legal claim. Okay, to check the legal claim. Of a person to an office. Okay, so this is the meaning of uh, co-warranto. Okay, now if we look into the options, it is option eight ki dise to secure the release of a person who has been imprisoned by court uh, of law on a criminal charge. So this is going to be wrong. Okay, now option B dise to direct a public officer or the ground not to be enforced uh, a law which is unconstitutional. Okay, this is also is going to be wrong. Okay. So, this is A, B wrong. Hai. So, this is obviously it is going to be wrong only. Okay. So, we have option number D. Our yad ki the office must be a public and it must be created by a statute or by the constitution itself. Okay. So, basically if you look into the meaning of the co-warranto, so this option is going to be the correct one. Okay. This option is going to be the correct one. Yes, obviously co-warranto will be issued to check the legality of a claim of a person to a office which is public. Okay. The government of India, they are not, go uh, not going to interfere in something which is of private matter. Okay. So, obviously, the office must be public and this office should be created. Public office generally, they are created by two methods. Okay. Either they are created by temporary laws and sometimes they have constitutional legality behind it. They have constitutional sanctions behind it. Okay. So, this is the answer to the question number one. Okay. So, let us move to the next question. Okay, so the next question is with regard to the federalism. Okay, so let us see the question. Which of the following features of federalism is are not found in the Indian Constitution? Okay, federalism. Okay, Kungira features basically Puana Zabeli question. Okay, now let me explain to you what is uh, what is basically a federation. Okay, federation will call a minute. There are two power centers. Okay, there are two power centers. One is at the central level. Okay, then other one it is at the state level. Okay. Kindo ama Indian polity, it is basically known as quasi federal polity. Okay. It is basically known as what? Quasi federal polity. Our a statement to Potom Amar Indian constitution konok, a quasi federal polity will be it It was Casey Weir. Okay. It was Casey Weir who referred to the Indian polity as quasi federal polity. Okay. Why quasi federal? Meaning of quasi federal is that basically we are half unitary, we are half federal. Okay. We have some unitary features also. At the same time, we have some federal features also. Okay. So that is why uh, generally uh, we are referred to as quasi federal polity okay so etia question to thudi se je kun kini features which of the following features are not found in our indian federation our indian federation kun tu bostu pona jay okay so first representation of the states we find representation of the states in the rajya sabha okay? we find representation of the state in the rajya sabha okay independent judiciary we have a very strong and independent judiciary okay and independent judiciary it also form, forms a part of the basic structure 
of the Indian Constitution. Okay, so we have a strong independent judiciary. Okay, then we have division of power between the union and the state government. Okay, and we have division of power. Okay, division of power. We have mainly three lists. Okay, we have the union list, then we have the state list, then we have the concurrent list. Okay, apart from that, we also have the residuary list. Okay, so key hoy union parliament can only make law on the items that are included in the union list. Okay, and on the items that are included in a state list, only the state legislatures can make law. Okay, similarly, concurrent list of jikini items are said that union parliament to law bana pare, and even the state legislatures can also make law. Okay, but supposedly, ketiba ki hoy same topic to port hai, dhoilwa union parliament to law bana hai, state legislature law bana hai. Tetele ka law to prevail koi hoy, it is basically of the union, uh, basically uh, parliament. Okay. Then next we have the residuary list. Okay, our yard jikini items include class. Hey, can you put law kune bana upar? Only the Indian Parliament is authorized to make law on the items that are included in the residuary list. Okay, how this entire concept it is basically known as what <coughs> division of power. Okay, so this concept is known as division of power. Okay, and we see division of power between the union and the state government. Okay, what we don't see is a federal judiciary. Okay, we don't have a federal judiciary. Okay, so the correct answer here will be only four. Okay, so this is the correct option. Okay, only four. Okay, a baki gutekini features ami dekhi pao in our Indian constitution, but we don't see this concept of federal judiciary. Okay, we don't see that. So let us move to the next question. Okay, so the next question it is related to basically article number three. Okay. And it is a very good question. If you look into the current affairs, basically with the issues such as Boroland, Kamatapur and all, okay. And this is a very good question to ask, okay. And it is also very important for your mains perspective also, okay. Because the issues of Boroland and Kamatapur, basically they are very burning topics, okay, nowadays. So, let us see what the question is asking, okay. So, the question is asking which of the following statements are not correct, Okay, are not correct for this head. Okay, about the creation of new states by the parliament under Article 3 of the Indian Constitution. Okay, so yet already state could be this Article 3, it is related to what creation of new states. Okay, it is related to the creation of the new states, alteration of the areas or the boundaries of the existing state, or even names of the new states uh, can be basically changed by using this Article 3. Okay, so this is basically uh, included in part one of the indian constitution okay the first part of the indian constitution it contains mainly four articles uh, from article one to article four okay and all these articles they are related to the uh, creation of the new states uh, or admission of the new states okay so all those things okay so it is who he says the article three or under judy i mean state one now which of the following statement are wrong okay so bottom statement is the president of India is required to refer such a bill to the affected state or states in order to know its uh, uh, know its or their view. Okay, this statement is correct. Okay, yet it yeah for the creation of a new state under Article 3, first step to key hoy before introducing any such kind of bill, you should basically inform the president of India. Okay, you should inform the president of India. Then after that, the president he is going to send that particular bill. Okay. Is going to send that particular bill to that affected uh, to that affected state. Okay, basically to know the mane their viewpoint. Okay, basically to know about their viewpoint. Okay, their, uh, so it first statement to correct time. Okay, Etia, next this uh, the president is bound to accept the opinion or view of the affected state in making recommendation to the parliament. So this statement is wrong. Okay, the president is not bound. Okay, he is not bound to accept the opinion or the view of the affected state. Okay, he can just read it. If he wants, he can basically uh, implement those um, the, those views or the opinions. And if he is not satisfied, he can basically throw it in the dustbin. Okay, so the president is not bound to accept the opinion. Okay, yet statement of question, the president is bound. He, this statement is wrong. Okay, president is not bound. Then third statement of Kibli the parliament cannot introduce a bill to this effect without the prior recommendation of the president. Already I have told you, okay, before introducing any this kind of bill, basically you need the uh, permission of the president of India. After taking prior permission of the president of India, after that only you can introduce uh, this kind of bill, okay, this kind of bill uh, that leads to the creation of new states or it leads to the uh, 
increasing the boundary of the new states or changing the name of any existing state okay so so here the correct answer will be basically c okay question not which is not correct so the not correct basically uh, statement is option number two okay so let us move to the next question okay so the next question it is related to the concept of judicial review okay it is related to the concept of judicial review in india okay so question not cute is eh? according to the constitution indian constitution judicial review in india is based on okay option one of this is rule of law procedure established by law then third option it is a precedence and conventions okay so you have to select the correct answer okay and this is a very easy question actually the correct answer is only two basically the procedure established by law okay so this is the correct answer procedure established by law okay amar jodi judicial review system ase it is basically based on the procedure that is established by law okay so etia tumaloko monot question ahi pare je sir what is the concept of judicial review okay so judicial review mane ki hoy okay eta judicial review mane ki hoy it is the process by which the supreme court or high court can look into the legality of any executive or or legislative action okay in simple words jodi moi kobole jao je what is judicial review it is a process by which the supreme court or the high court can look into the legality of any executive or legislative action okay eta ki hoy executive e ki koy they basically execute the laws that are passed by the uh, legislature okay eta legislature ki koy they make laws okay eta sometimes ki hoy the supreme court or the high court of any state they can think this this law is basically is violation of the provisions that are mentioned in the constitution of india okay or tetia ki koyo pare that particular law can be cancelled off okay so this is the concept of judicial review okay moi jodi ekdom tumaloko recent example dibole bujaole jao then you can take the example of the national judicial appointment commission okay act that was passed in the year 2014 okay a national judicial appointment commission act 2014 kon it was passed by the parliament by following the due procedure okay and it basically after getting the presidential assent it became the uh, became an act okay and it was supposed to replace the collegium system okay at present our supreme court of india due to appointment of judges has a it was a collegium system okay and this national judicial appointment commission was supposed to replace this collegium system okay kintu supreme court of india ki koibo basically in the year 2015 they are going to invalidate this particular law okay 2015 or ki koibo they are going to pass a judgment okay if i remember correctly uh, most probably it was passed by the uh, 4 is to 1 ratio pass korisile okay so basically uh, they are going to pass a judgment in the year 2015 and they are going to say that this national judicial appointment constitution uh, appointment commission is basically on constitutional okay tell me kibili kukuna koibo the national judicial appointment commission jun kon parliament e pass korisile 2014 on this particular act is what unconstitutional why it is unconstitutional because it is trying to interfere in the independence of judiciary it is trying to interfere in the independence of judiciary tell me e to comment disile okay are a independence of judiciary to ki hoy it is basically the basic structure okay it is part of the basic structure of the indian constitution part of the indian constitution okay that is ki hoy but this uh, the union parliament by using article 368 they can um, amend any part of the indian constitution okay from time to time it is ki hoy take the requirement of the society it changes okay so that is why from time to time our indian constitution has been amended okay many times okay they can amend any part of the constitution but they cannot basically amend the things which are included in the basic structure of the indian constitution okay supreme court e ki rai dan disile je if you are trying to amend any of the things that are mentioned in the basic structure of the indian constitution it will amount to the rewriting of a new constitution of india okay it will amount to the rewriting of a new constitution of india so that is why 
you cannot basically amend any of the things that are mentioned in the basic structure of the Indian Constitution. Okay, and Supreme Court ki dekhile that this National Judicial Appointment Commission is basically trying to interfere in the independence of judiciary. Okay, our independence of judiciary to kiyo it is part of the basic structure of the Indian Constitution. Okay, so this is the concept of judicial review. Okay, and this is one example of how judicial review is exercised in India. Okay, so it ya. Next, question is, sir, what is the procedure established by law? Okay, what is procedure established by law? So, what does it mean? Procedure established by law. Any law that has been enacted is valid only if Only if due procedure of law for is followed. Okay. So yet key goes here. Procedure established by law. The any law that has been enacted is valid only if due procedure of law for making the law is followed. Okay, due procedure for making that particular law by any authority, by any concerned authority. Okay, hey, uh, keep a law that one I say. Okay, law that do you know? I am you know, just giving you an example of an act. Okay, bill upon act or can I get okay, bill upon act can I get one? Okay, yet a government procedures as a for example, uh, basically an ordinary bill for becoming an act, it needs presidential assent. Okay. Just at a moment, for example, last or state to go to the show, any ordinary bill to become an act, it needs presidential assent. Okay. Without basically getting the presidential assent. Okay. So, without getting the presidential assent, that particular bill cannot become an act. Okay. Our A is a process to the Harry Gorise, A to a procedure established by. No. Okay. A is a you know, process to go to column. More of a last or step to go to the There are various steps basically involved in how a bill becomes an act. Okay. So, more of a last or tomorrow point to go to be, uh, for a bill to become an act, it needs presidential assent. President at that still signature maribole, but that is that that particular bill it is going to become what? An act. Okay. So, A is you know, procedure. Hai. Okay. A to get to my kibli ko as a procedure established by law. Okay, if you are basically bypassing the procedure that is established by law, that particular act is going to be a subject of the concept of judicial review. Okay, so Mujipala, so this is the concept of judicial review. Aro procedure established by law, any law that has enacted is valid only if procedure of the law for making the law is followed. Okay, due procedure, okay, due procedure for making the law has been followed. Okay, basically uh, it will not be subject to judicial review. Okay, so let us move to the next question. So the next question is with regard to the finding of a false statement. Okay, yet basically tinta statement you have to find the false one. Okay, so first statement is for qualifying to the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, a person may, must be at least 25 years of, of age and 35 years of age respectively. Okay. A first part to correct hoy. Okay, first part to correct hoy. You know, second part to wrong hoy. Okay, already my the previous question to Malko question with regard, I think with regard to the uh, qualification of the vice president of India. Okay, there he should have the qualification to become the member of the Rajya Sabha. Hai. So, to become the member of the Rajya Sabha, the minimum age is basically 30 years. Okay, 30 years and it is not 35 years. Okay, so this statement is wrong. Okay. So next question statement, a person belonging to the scheduled caste or scheduled tribe can contest election from a general constituency, okay, and this is a correct statement, okay, this is a correct statement, scheduled caste or scheduled tribe um, uh, candidate can, they can, they can basically go and contest election from a general constituency, okay, but a general candidate cannot go and contest election in a scheduled caste or scheduled tribe um, uh, 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 seat, okay, so this statement is correct, okay. Then the next one is, 
if a member of the parliament vote against the direction of his of his or her party he or she can be deemed to be qualified uh, to be uh, qualified on the ground of defection okay so basically yes this statement is also correct only okay so ki hoy suppose uh, you are getting elected from a particular party okay so you have to follow certain party discipline okay aur he party discipline to maintain koribo kane ki hoy floor ot tumar whip thake okay floor ot tumar whip thake they are kind of like monitors okay ami jene ke school ot dinot tumar class ot captains asale monitors asale na so kind of this whip perform that role of that monitor or the captain of the class okay so he will see the are all the members following the Uh, direction that are being given from the high command okay so if you are going against the uh, deci deci decision or the direction of the high command then you are basically uh, uh, betraying your party and you are basically uh, breaking down the party discipline okay so then you can basically come on un uh, uh, come under the ground of and this defection law okay you will be disqualified you can be disqualified okay so this statement is correct so here the correct answer is a only one okay this statement is the wrong one okay so both student they both bhul kore okay so please do read the statements properly here they are asking you to find the false statement okay so here only one is correct um, this one is going to be the false statement okay so let us now move to the next question Okay, so the next question it is related to the ordinance making power of the governor. Okay, so let us uh, check the question. So, which of the following is not a correct option about the governor's power to make ordinance? Okay, so option A, it says the governor may promulgate ordinance when the legislature or both the houses thereof are in session. Okay, so direct bottom option to be here, it is basically wrong. Okay, so this is the correct option. Yet, what is the question? Dude, is not a correct option. Okay, so this option A is not a correct option. ओके ऑर्डिनेंस बिली जदी आमी कबले जाऊ ऑर्डिनेंस मेकिंग पावर ओके सो दिस ऑर्डिनेंस मेकिंग पावर वी फाइंड इन आर्टिकल नंबर 1 टू 3 ओके आर्टिकल नंबर 1 टू 3 इट रिलेट टू द ऑर्डिनेंस मेकिंग पावर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओके तासो आर्टिकल नंबर 213 इट इज रिलेटेड टू द ऑर्डिनेंस मेकिंग पावर ऑफ द गवर्नर ऑफ एनी स्टेट ओके एटा ऑर्डिनेंस बिली जदी कबले जाऊ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑर्डिनेंस ऑर्डिनेंस आर बेसिकली टेंपरेरी लॉस ओके ऑर्डिनेंस बिली कबले गले की होय दिस आर temporary laws okay so it ki hoy one of the main function of the legislature or the parliament okay tel ko main kaam to hoyse to make law okay legislature kaam to hoyse ki to make law when we we know that we have three organs of the government when we have the executive branch which executes the law that are made by the uh, parliament or the legislature when then this legislature they legislate law okay ta judiciary kaam to ki hoyse they adjudicate that that particular law और जे ए पार्टिकल एक्जिक्यूटिव ऑर्डर तो परफॉर्म करले इज इट माने इज इट वायलेटिंग एनी ऑफ द प्रोविजन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हे टू चेक करा तो का काम होसे इट इज अ जॉब ऑफ द जुडिशियरी ओके सो एतिया पार्लियामेंट एतिया धुइला बा स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर इट इज नॉट इन सेशन ओके सो स्टेट इज द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट इज इट इज नॉट इन सेशन ओके सो एतिया ऑल ओवर सडन की होसे एटा सिचुएशन एटा आइसे ओके ऑल ओवर सडन देयर इज अ सिचुएशन जे यू नीड ए पार्टिकुलर माने एक्शन that needs to be taken only by the that can be taken only by the legislature okay can the problem to ki ho gol parliament is not in session but the state legislature is not in session okay so he tene ko time emergency type of situation gita meet koibo kane ki hoyse we have this ordinance making power okay we have this ordinance making power okay ordinance making power diya hoyse aur a power to president ko diya hoyse and similarly it has also been given to the governor of any state okay so a ordinance making power of the president or the governor ए जोन कोन ऑर्डिनेंस बनाबो इट विल हैव द सेम इफेक्ट ओके इट विल हैव द सेम इफेक्ट ऑफ एनी ऑर्डिनरी लॉ दैट इज बेसिकली मेड बाय द पार्लियामेंट और द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर ओके सो जे ए ऑर्डिनेंस कोन इटे की होबो इट इज गोइंग टू रिमेन इन पावर फॉर 6 वीक्स ओके लेट मी रब द बोर्ड ओके सो दिस ऑर्डिनेंस which is basically made by the governor it is going to remain in power for 6 weeks okay so tar bisat ki hobo a ordinance hona okay so the governor can basically table that particular ordinance in front of the house in front of the state legislature okay and if the house approves it then this ordinance it, it can become what a permanent law okay it can become permanent law if the state legislature approves it okay jodi ekhon approved ho pare कि तेतियाले की होबो ऑटोमेटिकली दैट दिस ऑर्डिनेंस इट इज गोइंग टू सीज आफ्टर द कंप्लीशन ऑफ 6 वीक्स 
okay so these are the important things you need to know about ordinance okay ordinance all about related key as we have article 1 to 3 it is related to the ordinance making power of the president of india okay then we have article number 213 it is related to the ordinance making power of the uh, governor of any state okay our ordinance mane moi tumaloko ki koisilu ordinance is basically temporary law okay temporary law which are passed when the parliament is not in session okay when the parliament is not in session but state legislature is not in session tete ki hoy basically these ordinances are issued okay so let us move to the next question okay so now let us move to the next question so the next question it is related to the vice president of india okay so let us check uh, what the question is demanding okay so which of the following qualification are necessary uh, for the office of the vice president of india as per the indian constitution okay so option number 1 or as the person must be a citizen of india then option number 2 we have the person must be a member of the rajya sabha okay then option number 3 we have the person must be above 35 years of age okay so these are the option so the question question to select the correct answer using the codes given below okay so if you look into the option this first one is correct okay so it here with regard to the qualification of the vice president of india article number 66 it is important okay article number 66 which is included in a part 5 of the indian constitution so that ki mention kora ase there shall be a vice president of india which shall be elected by an electoral college consisting of the members of both the houses of the parliament okay at that mention kora ase about the basically four okay total four number of qualification that are required uh, for a person to become the vice president of india okay our tate potom qualification ki dia ase basically the person must be a citizen of india okay this is the first qualification that is mentioned in article number 66 okay then that are the condition ki dia ase the person must be above 35 years of age okay so a to the condition tumar article number 66 or mention kora ase okay and apart from that there are two more qualification that are required for uh, for a person to become the vice president of india okay so it, yeah, those uh, qualification are basically uh, he should have uh, he should have the qualification to become the member of the rajya sabha okay Mane, member of the rajya sabha karne, minimum you need the age of 30 okay you should be citizen of india and you should have the minimum age of 30 okay so it was a qualification dia ase, okay then akabe last qualification ki dia ase, de, a person who is going to be elected as a vice president of india he should not hold any office of profit okay under the central government nor under the state government or under any public authority okay he should not hold any office of profit okay so these are the four qualification okay so if you look into the qualification we will find only option one and three are to be found in article number 66 okay we will never find the person must be a member uh, member of the rajya sabha a to qualification nine okay a qualification nine yard got ki ase he should have the qualification to become the member of the Rajya Sabha. Okay, a qualification to have mentioned. So, this is going to be wrong. So, our correct option is basically option number B, that is only 1 and 3. Okay, so basically the correct answer is only 1 and 3. Okay, so let us now move to the next question. So, the next question it is related to the rule of law. Okay, rule of law which was basically uh, uh, given by Dicey. Okay, which was given by Dicey. Okay, so question number two is which of the following features are regarded as the core features of the rule of law? Okay, so according to the official APUC, uh, the provisional APUC answer key, the answer to this uh, this question is basically option number B, that is one and and three. Okay, according to the provisional APUC answer key. Okay, kintu if I look at all the options, so I think the option should be A. Okay because why in upsc 2018 a similar kind of question was set up okay similar kind of question was set up and there also they have basically given the uh, this uh, sort of options only okay and here they are asking about the core features of the rule of law okay and if you look into all the options limitation of power okay rule of law a principle to kyo follow kora hai? mainly to stop the excessive use or the arbitrary use of the executive power Okay. Hey, both of the limit ko ibokane to my rule of law principle to apply kora hai. Okay. So limitation of power it is a one of the core feature. Okay. Equality before law. Okay. Rule of law to principle to kyo apply kora hai because everybody is equal in the eye of law. Okay. Everybody is equal in the eye of law. Law is not separate for a particular set of individual or uh, there is no any separate law for 
other set of individual okay law does not differentiate law is equal for everybody irrespective of your race your caste or your sex or your place of birth okay now the next one liberty and civil right okay so liberty and civil right bili kobole gole basically a rule of law principle to kyo introduce kora hoyse mainly to protect our liberty and our civil rights okay so that is why we have this concept of rule of law okay rule of law concept to kyo introduce kora hoyse mainly to protect our liberty and our civil rights ओके हे टू कने रूल ऑफ लॉ टू आसे नेक्स्ट वी हैव सुप्रीमेसी ऑफ द लॉ ओके इवन सुप्रीमेसी ऑफ द लॉ इज आल्सो अ कोर फीचर ऑफ द दिस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ रूल ऑफ लॉ ओके इन एनी कंट्री इन एनी डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री लॉ ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर लैंड इज द सुप्रीम ओके सो सो द अकॉर्डिंग टू माय ओपिनियन द करेक्ट ऑप्शन हियर शुड बी ए ओके 1 2 3 एंड 4 ओके 1 2 3 एंड 4 बट अकॉर्डिंग टू एपीएससी दे हैव बेसिकली गिवन uh option b is the correct one one and three is the correct one but according to my opinion the correct option should um, should be a one two three and four okay all of these four uh, features are part of this principle of rule of law okay rule of law so let us move to the next question okay so the next question it is related to the uh, power of the Rajya Sabha and money bill okay so before discussing the question uh, let us see what are the powers of Rajya Sabha with regard to the money bills okay so uh, basically with regard to the money bill the power of the Rajya Sabha is quite limited okay okay and apart from that a bill is a money bill or an ordinary bill it is only decided by the speaker of the Lok Sabha okay Rajya Sabha does not have any power with regard to the uh, basically the money bill okay but with regard to the ordinary bill basically the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha they have equal power okay now let us check the question so question what is the consider the following statement about the Rajya Sabha of the Indian Parliament okay option one or key reset statement one the Rajya Sabha has no power either to reject or to amend a money bill okay this option is correct okay this option is correct yes the Rajya Sabha does not have any power to either basically reject or to amend a money bill they can give a bill for 14 days they can give a bill for 14 days they can give माने काइंड ऑफ की बात डिसीजन लो इसे की बात अब तेरे को पुट फॉरवर्ड कोई हो पाए ओके बट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द लोक सभा आर दे गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट इट और नॉट ओके द लोक सभा जनरली की कोई तेरे को जनरली दे डोंट एक्सेप्ट काइंड ऑफ तेरे को नहीं सुना हो ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन uh, the Rajya Sabha cannot vote for the demand for grant. Okay. Sabale gole, yes, this is also correct with regard to the money bill. The Rajya Sabha has no power with regard to the uh, voting for demand for grant. Okay. The next question we have, the Rajya Sabha cannot discuss the annual financial statement. Okay. This statement is wrong. Okay. Rajya Sabha can discuss the annual financial statement. That is the budget. Okay. They can discuss the budget, but they cannot uh, basically... Uh, vote for demand or they cannot reject or amend okay the money bill okay but they can discuss okay but they can discuss okay and generally the decision of the Rajya Sabha with regard to the rejection or amendment it is not binding okay on the Lok Sabha so this statement is wrong okay then statement number four if any question arises regarding whether a bill is money bill or not the decision of the chairperson of the Rajya Sabha thereon shall not be final okay already more tomorrow go question to the a bill is an ordinary bill or an money bill head to decision kuna loy it is mainly taken by the speaker of the Lok Sabha okay so speaker of the Lok Sabha head to decision loy so Rajya Sabha does not have any power with regard to the money bill okay and even in this matter also the bill khan ekhan ordinary bill or money bill head to decide kora okay so yaad eti option to akkoban tricky koi di se okay a statement to pohibula salaya mana gom baba the basically or not the decision of the chairperson of the Rajya Sabha thereon shall not be final okay so yes this statement is also correct okay so jodi ami eta option at sao basically option number c is the most correct one okay so this money bill it is a very important topic with regard to the uh, discussing the powers of the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha okay and it is also a very important topic for your mains preparation also okay so let us move to the next question okay so the next question is with regard to uh, the, uh, uh, choosing the correct chronological sequence okay correct chronological sequence and if you ask me it is a very tough question to ask okay it is a very tough question to ask because you hardly remember the years okay Magna Carta okay Magna Carta it is basically part of the written part of the Indian uh, basically the British Constitution okay um, the British Constitution is an unwritten Constitution okay only the some parts of it are, are in a written form 
okay and one of that part is basically magna carta okay so basically this question why it is i am saying it is tough is that generally people remember the magna carta and the french revolution okay and french revolution year it is 1789 okay so if you look into the options basically we have two options with regard to uh, the uh, correct chronological sequence okay option b we have one and two okay if you remember the date okay so one and two aku d o to ase okay d option to do tomorrow one and two a sequence to ase okay so it is it becomes very tough to remember okay the dates okay then uh, option number three is basically universal declaration of the human rights okay uh, although it is very tough to remember the date but if you have been preparing with regard to the um, state human rights commission by national human rights commission okay and last year at a main sort question why is it with regard to the national human rights commission okay so you uh, should basically know about the universal declaration of the human rights okay but from prelims perspective it is very difficult to remember the year okay then we have the next one adoption of the international covenant on civil and political rights okay our younger year to is a 1900 i think if i'm not wrong it is 1966 okay 1966 is a year okay so kind of they have already given the um, uh, the sequence okay this is the sequence okay so the option is uh, b okay one so what's the bottom is like magna carta okay magna carta then the french revolution universal declaration of the human rights and adoption of the international covenant on civil and political rights okay so this is the correct sequence okay so now let us move to the next question okay now let's check the next question okay so i have put a similar type of question apsc put a similar type of question okay already we have discussed about the reads right? so now we have a similar kind of question that is also asking about what the, the name of the read okay so the here the question is the read issued by court to some inferior authority to transfer the matter to it for its proper consideration is called okay so the answer here will be option number c Okay, so a read to kete issue kura hoi. Take for example, Supreme Court of India, they are not satisfied with uh, some uh, like judgment of some inferior court. So they can issue this read of Satyarini. Okay, kyo karne te hoi to read issue hoi bo mainly for proper consideration of that particular matter. Okay, so that is the meaning of Satyarini. Okay, so now let us check into the other meaning of the other uh, these three reads. Okay, now the first read is Mandamas. Okay. So your meaning to is a weak command. Okay, your meaning to is a weak command. Okay. Sometimes you feel that as a police officer have violated your one of your fundamental right. Okay. So you can basically move the Supreme Court of India or the High Court of uh, any state okay to issue this read okay and under by issuing this read basically the supreme court or the high court is commanding that person they we command you not to perform that duty we command you to perform that particular duty okay so ten what time what ten okay a read to issue okay already my co warrant to kotha kolwe our question to when a co warrant to kyo issue kora hai mainly to check the legality of a person who is sitting in a public office okay remember the word public okay not private office okay public office which is basically created by some statutes or sometimes it is backed by some constitutional uh, sanctions okay so next we have prohibition okay prohibition basically it is issued by a superior court to stop a judicial body or a quasi judicial body okay which is inferior to it to stop uh, adjudicating in a particular matter okay take for example just i am giving an example okay ngt so ngt ki hoy national green tribunal okay so it is a quasi judicial body okay our algo subject matter to ki hoy mainly they deal with the environment related uh, topics okay environment related topics all over time mainly uh, basically and deal kore okay so it is dhoi loa ngt you feel okay you feel the ngt is basically crossing their limit okay they are crossing their limit then again and case to us environment related and now they are trying to mana intervene in something which is beyond their capacity of environment okay so tetia tenle ki koyo pare this supreme court of india you can move the supreme court or the high court of any state then you can, then you can basically uh, the court will issue this order of prohibition it will issue that order of prohibition to ngt the ngt this is not your domain so you should stop okay you should stop adjudicating in this matter okay so tenle ke bili tenle ke um, a, a read to issue koyo pare okay so uh, let us move to the next question now okay so the next question it is related to uh, fundamental rights and also it is related to citizenship okay so saha question ki hudi se so which of the following fundamental rights are available to the citizens of india 
ओके सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया कौन खी मैं फंड अफ द रट्स एनजय कर मैंने सो उ हेव बेसिकली द फंड अफ द रट्स इन अ पार्ट थ्री अफ द इंडियन कन्स्टिट्यूशन मैंने फ्रम आर्टिकल नम्बर टूवेल्व टू थार्टी फाइव ओके सो बेसिकलि उ हेव सिक्स फंड अफ द रट्स ओके उ हेव सिक्स फंड अफ द रट्स एटे कि है किसान रट्स आर एक्सक्लूसिव ऑनलि फर द सीटिजेन अफ इंडिया ओके एलियन्स के नट एनजय इट बै एलियन्स आई डोट मीन बेसिकलि द गाइज उथ दू एफ ओस ओके सो बै एलियन्स आई मीन द टेम्पोरि रेसिडेन्स अफ एनी पार्टिकुलर कान्ट्री ओके दे आर टेम्पोरि रेसिडेन्स अफ एनी पार्टिकुलर कान्ट्री एंड दे डोट हेव एनी लीगल वेलिड पासपोर्ट अफ दट पार्टिकुलर कान्ट्री ओके सो इतना तुम्हारा क्वेश्चन तो सी है जे एमंगस द एमंगस दिस फोर लिस्टेड रईट्स उच आर द रट्स दैट आर एक्सक्लूसिव ऑनलि फर द सीटिजेन्स अफ इंडिया ओके अफ इंडिया सो इत एक्सक्लूसिव रट कौनक है रट टू इकुअल इकुअलिटी अफ अपरचुनिटी इन अ मेटर अफ पब्लिक एमप्लयमेंट दिस इज कारेक्ट ओके इफ यू आर इंडियन सीटिजेन यू कैन बेसिकली गो एंड सीट इन एनी पजिशन ओके दैट एनी पजिशन लाइक दैट यू कैन बिकम द प्राइम मिनिस्टर अफ इंडिया यू कैन इफ यू वन यू कैन बिकम द प्रेसिडेंट अफ इंडिया ओके बट इफ यू आर एन एलियन ओके सपोज यू हेव कम फ्रम पाकिस्तान और इफ इफ यू हेव कम फ्रम सपोज यू एस सो इफ यू आर सीटिजेन अफ यू एस यू कैन नट बिकम द प्रेसिडेंट अफ इंडिया ओके सो दिस अपशन इज कारेक्ट रईट टू इकुअल अपरचुनिटी इन अ मेटर अफ पब्लिक एमप्लयमेंट ओके नेक्स्ट इकुअलिटी विफोर ल ओके दिस रईट इज एनजय बोथ बै द सीटिजेन्स एंड इट इज ऑल्सो एनजय बै द एलियन्स ओके देन अपशन नम्बर थ्री रईट टू फ्रीडम अफ रिलीजन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो एनजय बै एलियन्स ऑल्सो एंड इट इज ऑल्सो एनजय बै द सीटिजेन्स ओके देन लेट अस सी द अपशन नम्बर फोर सो रईट टू फ्रीडम आंडार आर्टिकल नाइन्टीन ओके सो रईट टू फ्रीडम आंडार आर्टिकल नाइन्टीन सो Under it also we have basically six rights under Article 19. Okay, for example, right to freedom of speech and expression, right to assemble peacefully without any arms. Okay, so any other type of sorta basically fund of the rights as under Article 19. Okay, and this uh, this right to freedom under Article 19 they are exclusive only to the citizens of India. Okay, the aliens cannot enjoy this. this right to freedom that is basically mentioned under article 19 of the indian constitution okay so basically the correct option here will be uh, the one which consists of 1 and 4 okay 1 and 4 so option b so option b is the correct option here okay so option b is the correct option here so that's all for today in this polity discussion so see you next time bye bye